Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday episode here on TGOT Tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can make a Skype chat where only you can talk, but no one else can. Let's figure out how to do that. This video was brought to you by TGOT Designs. Order fully customizable video intros, as well as banners, outros, and profile pictures. So basically, for this tutorial, all you need is Skype, and that's pretty much it, this tutorial. Basically, what we're trying to achieve here is a Skype chat in which only you and those whom you pick can talk in. Everyone else will not be allowed to talk, but they'll see the messages and they'll be updated on what's going on. I use this a bunch in my Corruption UHC Season 4 collaboration video. It basically made sure that I had a chat in which only updates were shown in, and then it made another chat where people could talk freely and converse. It just really made sure that everyone was up to date on what was going on through the update chat, and then everyone was happy being able to talk in the other chat. It's just great if you're trying to organize anything collaborational over Skype, especially for YouTube content. So with all that said, hopefully you guys are hyped for this tutorial. And let's jump right into the software. All right, guys, so here we are in Skype. The first thing you want to do is open up a chat with anyone, any person on your Skype list. It can even be the Skype call testing service. Basically, we need to do this so we can actually type in some commands down here in the text box. For those of you who didn't know, Skype actually has a lot of advanced features that it doesn't normally allow you to do which you can access through commands. So right down here at the bottom, I'm going to type in create moderated chat, all one word, a slash in front, slash create moderated chat. And when I hit enter over here on the side, it'll create a new untitled conversation. So if you click over to this new untitled conversation, you can actually start setting up your chat. So I've named it tutorial test chat, and I'm gonna click here on the actual icon to change any of these settings if I need to. It looks as if I do not really need to change anything, so I'm just gonna exit out. So in order to create a chat in which only I can talk and those who I select can talk but nobody else, we need to actually type in a few more commands into this tutorial test chat. The first thing we wanna do is make sure that everyone who joins from here on out is a listener. So I'm gonna type in slash set options plus joiners become listeners right down there. And that's going to make sure that everyone who joins from here on out becomes a listener and cannot talk in chat, but can look at everything said in chat. I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna input that command. You won't see any clarification here. You just have to make sure you type it in correctly. The next thing I'm gonna type in is slash set options plus users are listeners. This will make sure that any users that get put in here are set to the rank listener. I'm gonna hit enter and save those changes. Now that's all done, I can start adding people and they will be not able to talk in chat. You can add people by doing slash add and then typing in their Skype username, not their display name. You can also go up here to the add button and add them this way. All right, so I'm gonna add my friend Greg and he will not be able to talk in this chat. Now I'm going to add my friend Alex and he will not be able to talk in this chat. Now, what if I wanted Greg to help out with, you know, talking in the chat, giving people updates, but I didn't want Alex or anyone else that I added in the future to be able to talk. Basically, I would set role to Greg so that he can talk and leave Alex where he is. I'm going to do slash set role live fancy pants spam, which is Greg and helper. This is going to make sure that he can help in the chat, but he can't rank demote or you know promote anyone in the chat to different roles that power will be left with the creator of the chat or if i want to set him to master if i send him to master he'll be able to uh you know promote people and demote people to different various roles just as i'm doing right now for this purpose i'm going to make sure that he is a helper so i can talk in chat so as you can see greg can talk but alex cannot now i could demote him again i can demote him to listener and he will no longer be allowed to talk. Now, if you wanna get a list of all the options you've applied to a chat, you can type in slash get options and it'll actually show what options you've already put on here. So if you forgot or you don't know where you left off, you can actually type in slash get options and it'll tell you. Now, if you wanna remove an option, you can actually remove it by doing slash set options and then a minus before what you're about to remove. So if I did minus users are listeners, then everyone would be able to talk. 
From here, you can actually do a lot more stuff. Uh, all the commands are detailed on Skype's actual website, and I'll leave a link to that down below in the in the description box. So if you want to learn more about more advanced features, uh, there's so much more than what I've talked about in this tutorial. You can actually go ahead and go to that link, and you can read up on the post that they have describing all the different commands that you can use. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure that you stay subscribed and actually you can get a text message when I put up a new video here on TGOT Tutorials. So you can text the code on screen now to be able to be notified by text message whenever we upload a new video. So that's pretty much that. If you're interested in anything else I do here on YouTube, I also have a channel where I upload gameplay videos, I upload graphic design stuff over on TGOD Designs. And if you want more of a personal look at my life outside of YouTube, you can actually take a look at my channel, The Vlogger Die. So that is pretty much that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, a like is greatly appreciated. You know, just a little something to give back if you enjoyed. It lets me know that you like this sort of stuff. And you know, sharing is caring. So with all that said, thank you all for watching and tuning in. I will see you next Tuesday for another tutorial. As always, take it easy. Peace out.